Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. It is currently 2.15 in the middle of the night and I woke up to a message on my phone saying that the pigims are out. So of course I had to wake up, get ready, get some dress on. I'm actually sitting in my underwear right now. If you could see it, you'd believe it. But the reason why I'm sitting in front of you is that I want to make sure that you guys can get your gold coin or those of you who are still in the running for it, the diamond coin it's no secret that this major has been filled with surprises no secret that a lot of the teams that we expected to go through in the tournament are not through teams like g2 navi ends furia uh, there's so many good teams who just didn't make it couldn't qualify didn't have it in them that also means that the teams we have in the bracket for the having contention to win the last major are the following heroic face monty gamer legion team liquid apex vitality and into the breach into the breach of course being the biggest surprise as said i'm not gonna get the diamond coin and i'm willing to bet and say this if you're still in contention for the diamond coin you're either very very lucky or you know f all about counter-strike to be completely honest it is incredible 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 tough to predict these games and this major has been filled with surprises that being said though i want to help as many of you guys to get the gold coin or if you're still in contention for the diamond coin you can use this as inspiration if you want to first and foremost let's look at the bracket heroic taking on face clan in the very first game is just insane monty versus gamer legion one of these two teams will be in the semi-final of a major no one could forecasted that liquid versus apex vitality versus into the breach let's start from the bottom of the bracket and work our way up i think that's the most interesting thing to do in the first game vitality versus into the breach vitality have looked absolutely stellar so far with wins against g2 wins against monty and best of three as well they went through the legend stage without losing a single game vitality are looking hot saru's looking hot and they seem to be in the best shape ever so even against a well playing into the breach who surprisingly today beat Fnatic, I don't think they stand a chance against Vitality on home turf inside an arena with roughly 11 to 12,000 screaming French friends for them. I believe Vitality will be winning this game and book a spot into the semi-final. I don't even think it's going to be a close game, to be honest. All the respect to Into the Breach, the fact that they're even in the playoff is insane, but they're not beating Vitality. I cannot, I cannot see that happen. I'm not going to lie. Next one is Liquid versus Apex. And that's quite interesting, right? Because Apex played Liquid in the Challenger stage and Apex destroyed Liquid in the Challenger stage in a best of one game, sure, first game of the tournament. And that's when the entire conversation about Liquid not showing up for the major, sucking, not gonna go far in the tournament started because Apex won that game. Ever since though, a lot have changed. Apex qualified today by making a massive comeback against NIP. They were down three to 14 on the second Second map made a comeback won in overtime qualified for the playoff impressive by apex again sort of like into the breach sort of like monty and gamer legion no one expected those teams to be here but they thoroughly thoroughly deserve it now they're going up against team liquid and yes you can argue well apex already beat liquid once but liquid is a complete new team the way they played in the legend stage was nothing but spectacular liquid have lost one game in the legend stage and that was against heroic in a very close fashion two to one and right now heroic are one of the main favorites to win the tournament so take nothing away from liquid while i want to give Respect to Apex for having beat Liquid once already in the tournament. It was in a best of one, and that was when Liquid were at their worst. Liquid now plays much, much better. So I'm going to put Liquid ahead of Apex. I see that as a no-brainer. I'm not going to lie. Now, the most 50-50 game we have in the quarterfinals is Monty against Gamer Legion. Monty with Boros, with Royal 2K, with Sun Young, all playing absolutely fantastic. Even Krasnel and DemQQ have done stay. There's no weak link within Monty. All five players have had games where they were the carry, where they were standing out. Which is why I think they stand a very good chance of beating Gamer Legion, who once again impressed us at the Legend States. I don't know where to put this game. I, I, I completely see it as a 50-50 game. I think Gamer Legion has played fantastic. Shui as an in-game leader, one of the hottest prospects right now. Young, up-and-coming in-game leader. A lot of Tier 1 teams are looking towards him right now. Im, the way he's playing Imo is, is just fantastic. So, yeah, I, I think that's a tough one to call. I think I'm going to go with Monty based on the fact that Monty have only lost two games the last, what is it, four or five weeks. And one of them being against Heroic. 
other than that, Muncie is beating teams on their own level. You look at the online results, you look at all the results they've had so far at the Major. Whenever Muncie is playing a team at their own level, or even at this Major, better than them on paper, they beat them. So I don't see Muncie looking to, to lose a game against a team that is at the same level as themselves. They've been consistently beating those teams online and now also at the Major. So I'm going to edge it out for Muncie, but I'm going to be honest, Gamer Legion can easily win that game as well. To me, it's a 50-50. Now, the most interesting quarterfinal, Heroic versus Face Clan. We get that in a quarterfinal. I don't know if you guys saw the Face Clan versus Navi game today, but you got to watch the highlights. Again, Face Clan, third deciding map. They're down 9 to 15, CT side of Anubis. The most T-sided map, Navi is up 15 to 9 against FaZe and FaZe come back again, showing us that the most clutch team probably in the history of the Counter-Strike world, the fact that they always fight their way back from deficits, they did it a bit against Bad News Eagles, they did it against Navi, it's, it's just a, a miracle that FaZe is even in the playoff to be completely honest, they're taking on the favorites of Heroic, Heroic have looked flawless at this tournament, Heroic the past 4 months have looked flawless. Heroic have not won a tournament so far this year, but they've been close. They came second in Katowice, which is the biggest event we have of the year so far. They came second at IEM Rio, only losing out to Vitality in the final. Heroic right now look like the main favorite to win the entire thing together with Vitality, and that's also why I think they're gonna beat FaZe Clan. Now, it can be a close game, because let's respect FaZe Clan. They always find a way to make the games close. So much quality on Rops, on Rain, on Brokey, Twist for that matter as well. This. There's so many good players within FaZe Clan and Kerrigan being the in-game leader here. So it's not going to be an easy game for Heroic whatsoever, but I think Heroic is going to beat them because Heroic is looking good. Heroic against Monty in the semi-final as well. I, I, I can't see it be a close game, to be honest. I, I think Heroic is going to win. There's a world where Monty is going to surprise pick potentially Mirage and bring on the fight to Heroic on Mirage despite Heroic being good on the map but I can see Monty win a best of three against a well playing Heroic. Now all the respect to Monty, the fact that they are even in the playoff insane if they were to get to the semi-final by beating Gamer Legion even better but beating Heroic that's a different level of team. I don't see Monty doing it so I don't want to spend too much time describing that. That means we get a final between Heroic and Vitality. I've said it from the beginning of the major. I said it two weeks ago, I said it four weeks ago, I said it a couple of days ago I think and I feel Heroic is the best team in the world as of right now. Heroic have the highest flaw of all teams, meaning that when they're playing their worst brand of Counter-Strike, they're still mega competitive, whereas Vitality have a higher peak. So let me phrase it this way. If Vitality and Heroic are both playing the A++ Counter-Strike, Vitality is going to win the game. But if Heroic is playing their normal high-level Counter-Strike and Vitality is just playing good Counter-Strike, Heroic will win. I think Heroic have the best synergy in the world, they have the best team play in the world, they have experience from having been in the last grand final of the last major, so they already tried to lose that one. They also lost to Vitality at the IEM Rio less than a month ago in a final, and you learn more from losing games than you do from winning games. That's something I can tell you as a former pro player. So, I will etch it out for Heroic, but you cannot take away the fact that Saivu is on the server, that Vitality will have the crowd with them, so I think it's going to be an incredible, incredible close game, and I can see it goes both ways, but if I had to pick a winner of the Major, I'm going to stick to what I said from the start of the tournament and pick Heroic. I'm curious to hear what you guys are going to do there with your pickums, because there is a lot of question marks right here, and I want to make out and tell you guys about something I'm doing on Twitter as well. Londas promised to give away one of my knives if G2 didn't make the playoff, and they didn't, so I'm doing a giveaway of a knife with Londas. All you have to do is head over to my Twitter account, and uh, participate, you just have to follow me on Twitter, follow Londres and retweet this tweet, and then you can win this $250 knife, completely free to participate, and the winner will be drawn before the first quarterfinal game starts on Thursday. It doesn't matter where you're from, doesn't matter how old you are, you can win that knife. So make sure to head in and do that, and then let me, sorry, then make sure to let me know in the comments below what your pickums look like, or head into my Twitter and take a picture of your pickums and tag me on Twitter. Hope you guys are getting the gold coins. Hope you guys are getting the diamond coins. And I said, if there's any one of you guys still in contention for diamond coins, either you are extremely lucky and you need to play the lottery, or you know nothing about Counter-Strike and you should not listen to me whatsoever. Have a good day.